My name is Chris Rudin, and I was one of the first in the country to get the Eversense E3 CGM. And today we're gonna to be talking about the good, the not so good, and everything in between, and how it compares to other CGMs on the market like Dexcom, Libre, and anything else that might be out there. I've had type one diabetes for almost 12 years now, and I've been on everything. Every CGM, every insulin pump, every insulin, anything that's made for diabetics, I've probably tried it, used it, and probably hated it at a certain point. The big things I'm gonna talk about in this video are the individuality of diabetes management. We get to decide how we manage our condition, something we never asked for but we deserve as patients to have all the options laid on the table. So I don't want you to feel like you have to go with a specific CGM or you have to go with a specific insulin pump just because that's the way we do it. Just because your doctor or whoever tells you you need to do a specific modality does not necessarily mean you have to do that modality. All modalities should be an option. This is the one we're talking about today. Big exciting news in the diabetes space. Up until now, most CGMs need to be replaced every 10 to 14 days. Eversense, with their first ever implantable CGM, was able to do it for 90 days. I was on the Eversense system originally for over a year. I had five sensors in 90 days at a time. But now, recently, the FDA approved the 180 day sensor, the E3 CGM by Eversense. That means every 180 days, you get one sensor that is tiny, literally tiny. The sensor is tiny. It's as small as a penny, if not smaller than a penny, and it's so thin. You get one of these sensors put under your skin by a medically trained professional like a doctor or endocrinologist, two of these a year, and you never have to worry about anything else. First and foremost, what is the Eversense E3 CGM? The Eversense E3 is a continuous glucose monitoring system that gives you real-time blood sugar updates every five minutes. So as a person with diabetes, it's extremely important to know not only where you are, but where your blood sugars are going. Uh, this system includes a fluorescence-based sensor that's implanted under the skin, a smart transmitter that's placed over the skin, over top of the sensor, and then a smart mobile app given you have a compatible mobile device. The smart transmitter wirelessly powers the sensor. This activates the sensor, which flashes an LED light source. A fluorescent polymer coating on the outside of the sensor responds to the LED light. Glucose from the body reversibly binds to a coating and the amount of light emitted by the coating rises and falls with the body's glucose concentration. This emitted light is measured by photo detectors inside the sensor. Special circuitry digitizes the measurements and sends the data to the smart transmitter. The smart transmitter calculates the glucose value, direction, and rate of change and sends the information to the mobile app. So let's talk about what the Eversense E3 system has to offer that's different compared to the other CGMs on the market. Most continuous glucose monitors use interstitial fluid to measure glucose. Eversense E3 uses fluorescence technology that helps detect blood sugar even more accurately. There's something called the MARD or the mean absolute relative difference, and it's how most continuous glucose monitors are measured in terms of success. Eversense has the lowest mean absolute relative difference, meaning the most accurate on the market. In their promise study, it reported 8.5%, and most other CGMs were above nine, or just barely above nine. That makes Eversense E3 CGM the most accurate continuous glucose monitor on the market. And in terms of continuous glucose monitoring, there is no point in having a glucose monitor if the monitoring isn't accurate. So accuracy should be the top priority in every single person with diabetes goal in terms of finding out where you're at with your blood sugar. That's why for me, that's a huge plus and already the major selling point over any other CGM on the market. Accuracy is everything for me. As a person who's used the Eversense system for a long time, I'm really fascinated by just the overall science behind it. Having a sensor that's implanted in you I think is one of the coolest things ever compared to where we are in all of our other scientific data. We already use medical implants for so many other factors uh, to assist the heart and different organs, different hormones. Finally, diabetes has caught up to that technology and now we can use a sensor that uses this fluorescence technology to give us the most accurate data with our blood sugars, not only where we are, but predictive highs and lows that we can make blood sugar adjustments and carbohydrate adjustments with confidence knowing that it's as accurate as it can be and uh, not to mention the flexibility. Having a transmitter that we can put on over our arm, you'll see I have one here. We can use white tape, we can use clear tape. We have different silicone adhesives that don't bother the, bother the skin as much as other CGMs have in the past. The biggest thing for me, I can literally take this off, put it back on, 
and wear it the rest of the day. I can do that multiple times. Whereas if you did that with another CGM, oh, there's $200, $300, $400. Anytime you've ripped off another CGM, you probably had that pain of there goes my money, there goes the sensor. That was my last sensor for the month. And we start scrambling. With this, the flexibility to take it off and put it back on when we want to, if we need to, if it rips off. The only supplies I have to carry around are a charging cord every one and a half, two days and adhesives. That's it. No other transmitter, sensor, garbage, all this other stuff that we have to bring with us and have a pile of stuff to throw away. I love the flexibility of being able to put it on, put it off, use clear, use white, use whatever I want to manage my diabetes. That's a huge, huge uh, plus for me. And given all these studies, that makes the Eversense E3 CGM the most accurate on the market. On top of the most accurate CGM on the market, we also have flexibility. The ability to take the transmitter off and on anytime we want is incredible, but even better than that, discrete on-body vibrations. That's, for me, a huge benefit. So my diabetes is my diabetes, and sometimes it's really burdensome, or it can feel like a big burden when I'm around my girlfriend, around people, or in a meeting, and the alerts just sound like the craziest alarm, like a lunk alarm at Planet Fitness. It's a little much sometimes. So having on-body vibrations with different patterns for high and low, whether I'm around my phone or not, which is crazy, I know how to manage my condition and I don't have to be this like loud diabetes, like crazy. Loud noises! It vibrates on my arm and I know how to take care of my diabetes. I don't have to scream about it, which is incredible. So the discreteness, already amazing. Honestly, when it comes to the Eversense E3 system, it's just unparalleled convenience, accuracy, and flexibility. That's why it gets my vote. Now let's talk about some of the cons that most people will say about the Eversense E3 system. The first and most glaring one that most people see on the outside looking in, which was also mine before I got involved in Eversense. I say, hold up. Wait a minute, something ain't right. The implant, having the sensor put under your skin. You hear all kinds of people say stuff like, oh, it's surgery, it's a procedure, you know, you can call it whatever you want. It's a five millimeter incision. It's tiny. You go in, it takes less, for me, it took less than three minutes to get the old sensor removed and the new sensor inserted, total three minutes. There's no stitches involved. The incision is so minutely small, it's insane. The procedure, the insertion, the implant is extremely fast, painless. They put Steri strips over the incision spot and then Tegaderm over that and you're told not to work out for a day and then you're good to go. The process is extremely easy. The fear of a surgery comes from the incorrect phrasing and idea of what's involved. Literally three minutes, it, you're in and out and your doctor, especially your endocrinologist can do this and more and more endocrinologists have gotten on board since the birth of Eversense years ago. So it's extremely exciting, it's extremely new and it's innovative. The great thing about that is once it's implanted and your sensor warms up for 24 hours, on the E3 system, you're good to go for 180 days. You already see your doctor every three months. So out of your four visits that you're seeing your doctor, two of them, would be a sensor implant. That's incredible. Six minutes out of the year, you know, given you have an experience like I did, which I have no complaints whatsoever. The 24 hour warm up period is longer than most CGMs. It used to be 24 hours for some CGMs. Now some of them have a two hour warm up period, but trading the 24 hour warm up period for the highest accuracy in the CGM game is absolutely fine with me. The Eversense E3 system does require one to two daily calibrations a day. And this was almost a deal breaker for me. I'm not gonna lie. One to two daily calibrations was a little jarring given hearing the other marketing from other CGMs, you know, whether it involved no finger sticks or anything of that nature. The issue with me was when I was on other CGMs, I would have a 40, 60, 80, 100 point difference in what my blood sugar glucometer was reading versus what the CGM that claimed no finger sticks needed. That's a huge issue for me because if I develop a lack of trust in my medical technology for my diabetes, I'm not only gonna not wear it as much, I could die. I could, something bad could happen to me. And 
being in a few of those situations with other CGMs made me distrust CGMs for a long time. Ever since, given the accuracy is there, I wouldn't trade the calibrations for anything because I know my system is extremely accurate. With the E3 system, after 21 days, you're given the option of one or two finger sticks, depending on what the system recognizes. But again, I would never trade finger sticks for accuracy. I don't care about any of the cool marketing in the world. If you're marketing something that creates a system of less accuracy, the goal of a continuous glucose monitor is to accurately accurately monitor continuous glucose. It's not a continuous inaccurate glucose monitor. So that's not an issue for me either. The only other uh, setback that I see in my eyes for the Eversense uh, system is that you do need to charge the transmitter, but it's not even a setback really because every one to two days I pop the transmitter on the charger for 10 minutes while I'm in the shower and then you're good to go for another day and a half, two days. Those are the pros and cons of the Eversense E3 system. I will be showing more videos on the Eversense E3 system like the app, the usability, uh, how user friendly it is and some of the graphs and reporting it does in other videos. I just wanted to let everyone know with diabetes that the Eversense E3 system is is available. The 180 day CGM is out. Six months of accuracy, flexibility, and convenience. If you're interested, please talk to your doctor, your medical team about considering what needs to happen to get on this system. You can always head to the website ever since to get started, talk to a local rep, and see if this is for you. All right, guys, that about wraps up the Eversense. I hope you enjoyed the information in this video. I know for me, I love that. I'm one of the first in the country to have this and uh, it's been extremely accurate. It actually just let me know I'm about to go low very soon. So I'm gonna end this video. And if you guys have any more questions, please uh, put them below in the comments. I'll be having some more information about the Eversense E3 system in the next few days or weeks. And uh, until then, talk to you all soon.